Go ahead. Yeah, uh, as, as we look ahead to tomorrow's inflation speech, let me ask you to look back at some of the uh, warnings that were issued uh, last year by uh, Summers and Ratner and so on. In retrospect, were they right that uh, some of the government policies were going to lead to inflation? Uh, I wouldn't say we agreed with them then, and we don't agree with them now. I would note that um, <clears throat> as it relates to actions like the American Rescue Plan, the alternative to not putting in place and advocating for the American Rescue Plan would have been the economy continuing to spiral, right? We, would, we were providing assistance and relief in the form of checks to people who needed that assistance at the time. That, that package also helped fund and prepare for a fight against COVID. It helped keep schools open. 100% of schools are open today, in large part because of the American Rescue Plan. It helps states and localities support and keep teacher, keep, uh, keep police, keep local authorities, keep local governments open at a time where that was in question. So we know, if we look at the recent inflation data, a large, depending on which data you look at, two-thirds to even 70 percent of inflation data is, is a result of energy prices. A, a large part of that is the result, and, and, and Chairman Powell has spoken to this, and Secretary, um, Secretary Yellen has also spoken to this, as a result of President Putin's invasion of Ukraine and the impact on the global energy markets. Those are all steps and impacts that I don't think anyone could have predicted a year ago. Go ahead. So, thanks, Jen. So, on, on that, um, the economy is signaling some weakness going forward. Um, what's the level of concern? You know, it, well, first of all, is the president watching the markets and the data coming in? And what's his level of concern there's a recession uh, in the next 12 months? Well, um, without, uh, as you know, we don't, we don't really speak to or comment on uh, the uh, judgments, ups and downs of the stock market, market, or the daily movement of the stock market, I should say. Well, it's volatile. Uh, we've seen that, and we we'll certainly monitor it from here. Uh, I would note that since President Biden took office, the market is up considerably. When we look at economic data internally, and when a lot of external economists look at economic data, they look at the fact that we've created over 8 million jobs since the President took office, that the unemployment rate has dropped to 3.6 percent, that GDP grew up 5.7 percent last year, the fastest rate since 1984, and also that household balance sheets are strong and businesses are investing in the United States. So we look at that base data, th that data, as we look at the economy. And of course, we continue to monitor as data comes in and as we see fluctuations. So what's the level of concern about a recession? Again, we, we monitor it. We are continuing to. We're not predicting that at this point in time. Uh, one more thing on uh, new sanctions that was just announced on Russia. Yeah. But China last week cut tariffs on coal from Russia coming in to zero. Um, the Chinese have also uh, had a record imports uh, last month from China, from Russia to China. 57 percent was the increase. At what point is China breaking the sanctions? Uh, and then when is the president going to stand up and say hey, and call out China to stop this behavior in supporting Russia? We clearly will watch closely. And uh, if, if that were to happen, I don't think we have seen to date a breaking of the sanctions at this point in time. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.